Thank you very much for all of you for being here. I think my job is the more exciting job here, which is to talk about the new technology, which is over the wire insertion. Uh, again, my talk will start by not telling you should you use a filter or not. You reach the stage that you are using this filter, and the next stage is if you are using a filter, why it should be over the wire filter. The Option Elite filter was recently actually approved as an over the wire. That was in December 2013. And with this, it will be the only filter that has a retrievable, uh, the only retrievable filter that has the over the wire advantage. Why over the wire? We all do endovascular interventions, and we all say that if the wire is there, you are safe. If the wire comes out, you are not safe. The same principle apply here. So that will give you more routes for insertion because you can stabilize the delivery system. It helps you manipulate the filter to a central position, and I will show you a picture how to do that, and also can manipulate the position of the filter when you retrieve it. We have many cases in which we are able to go through actually the middle aperture of the filter in order to retrieve a difficult filter. Symmetry and over the wire is not something new for filters, and this was tried by Greenfield Filter um, many years ago. Um, they compared it to none, the one that is not for over the wire, and still there is some asymmetry. There is still some tilting with their experience, and I'm not sure actually how we can define tilting and asymmetry in a do, a 2D images, but these are their figures. Out of our experience, though, over the years, I'm sure it is your experience the same, in order to retrieve a filter, you have to have it in a central position, the easiest way to do it. It might not make a difference for capturing the clot, the filter is tilted or not, in my opinion, but it will make a huge difference in order to retrieve that wire. That is why over-the-wire insertion for a retrievable filter is very important. Central tip location is important, and I will show you some pictures about that. In a recent study from University of Pittsburgh, Dr. Macaron Group, they looked at all the filters they inserted, about 471 filters, none of them option actually, this is an older study, and the uh, older collection of data, and they found there's about 4.2% actually technical failure, 4.2% thrombus, so the filter was not removed. But among the ones that were removed, the challenging filters, they had tilt odd ratio for being unable to remove this filter easily was the tilt, the odd ratio was 2.6, and also the filter opposition to the wall about 6.1. Both the option and the option elite filter were not marked as over the wire, but that's why I'm talking here. I always use them over the wire, especially in difficult cases. And our experience with over the wire, because you can adopt and adapt that filter over the wire, um, uh, goes back to four years. The presence of a filter separate from the delivery device is very important, so that separate cartridge allowed us to use the filter in many ways, and I'll show you some of those. Let's talk about actually the crux of this talk, which is how to do it over uh, the wire using the femoral approach, which is the one I use a lot. You need a wire, of course. I prefer the J wire, but many people actually use any, any angled wire. It should be a little bit stiff wire than the glide soft wire. When you do it over a J wire, you have to be careful when you pull the J out not to pull the wire with it. So you have to stabilize the filter, as I will show you, before you pull it out. Then you can use the dilator of the sheath, the delivery sheath, as a pusher rather than the angled pusher that uh, uh, Dr. Johnson talked about. And you have to stabilize the filter very well before you pull it out. Access the groin like anybody else. And then through the six French sheath, which has nothing uh, to do with actually the uh, device itself, any six French sheath, you can do a venogram then insert the wire, I use a J wire. And the next step is to introduce the delivery system over the wire, and then introduce the cartridge over the wire. You can do that two ways, either from the back end of the wire, which is the stiffer end, the straighter end. This way, you know you will go straight through it, but make sure you are going to put your finger on the other end so you don't push wire out. 
or you can go through the angle one, but again, put your finger on so you don't push the wire out, uh, the filter out. And this is now the dilator, as you can see it here, coming in behind the uh, filter in order to push the filter inside the sheath. And as you can see it, now it's over the wire and it will be released. Before you pull your filter out, you need to do this step on the right, which is very important. You push your delivery system, the same delivery system, with the dilator, straighten the wire very well, and pull your guide wire out. If you need to give a stronger push for the wire to make it central, you can, but most of the time you don't need to do that. But this stabilizing step, step is very important. And then you remove, actually, after that, your delivery sheath. But now we use it because it's over the wire to do other methods. And other methods like using the IVAS. I will go through this very quick. You, after you do your IVAS, decide now how long the delivery sheath should be in the patient's body based on your ultrasound. As you can see it, you measure it here. Then you deploy the filter and introduce your catheter for the IVAS again, looking for the delivery to make sure it is in a good position. And you can see here actually the tip of the wire is central in the center of the IVC, another picture from another patient. And you can see again, the tip of the filter is in the middle of the IVC. In the future, that will make it easier to retrieve. We did about 126, I'm not going through that. Uh, data a lot other than 126 over the wire no, sorry, 126 delivery using the IVA. Some of them are over the wire. So in conclusion, the option elite filter is the only retrievable filter approved for over the wire insertion. And over the wire insertion, like any endovascular procedure, expected to ensure central location of the filter tip allows more entry sites for insertion and easier IVAS guided insertion because actually it cut one step less when you use the IVAS and it potentially allows easier retrieval of the filter.